Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a weekly reading for the sign of Libra. From the 25th through the 31st. What's going on with you, Libras, around this time period, around the end of March? Let's get five shuffles and dive straight into it. Hmm. Two more. Ah, Libra. The chariot movement forward, ladies and gentlemen. This is a decisive action here. It's, it says if something you've thought of something here, right? And you've you're quite convicted on your decision. You're quite determined on your decision. You're determined on the path, the direction in which you are headed towards. All right. Now it could be it could be involving something that you've had, you know, a strong attachment toward all right so this is relinquishing an attachment this is surmounting an attachment all right something that's been hindering you or this is moving towards something that you're quite um i don't want to say stubborn but allured by if you will okay in the past year the ten of wands the ten of wands just talks about an overbearing burden here okay and now things are beginning to make sense. You see, I was talking about an attachment because I saw the devil here in your subconscious. This is something that's deeply embedded in your mind. This is something that, that you've been carrying for a long time if it's, you know, in your subconscious. All right. It's something that you've allowed to form in your reality. Based on what I'm seeing here in the past, ladies and gentlemen, you've been dealing with this for quite some time. You've felt a bit... Uh, overwhelmed possibly in regards to this and you know what you haven't been good to yourself due to your involvement in this matter all right guys we truly can be good to ourselves and be not so good to ourselves based on the relationships that we create so here's a radical example if you know that you're hanging out with losers maybe junkies in the street and shit like that you think you're doing yourself any good? No, same thing with a fucking cheating and lying, you know, individual that is completely untrustworthy. You are doing yourself an injustice by involving yourself with uh, an, indiv an individual like that. You, we need to be discernful with who we give our time to, with who we open up toward, because people can hurt us, right? People will take advantage of us. The world is not all living the night, ladies and gentlemen. And this victim mentality that many people tend to embody is the worst thing you can do. All right, the best thing you can do is take responsibility for your life. You are the creator, your perception creates your reality, okay? And through this creation of reality, you attract certain lessons in life. This includes people, all right? So not until you begin to shed self-imposed limitations will you begin to attract people that are on that same frequency and how do you shed self-imposed limitations well this you know this process of self-love ladies and gentlemen basically falling in love with yourself absolutely appreciating aspect absolutely appreciating every aspect of yourself all right when you shun yourself when you suppress aspects of you that you don't like, that you think aren't going to be accepted by other people, you're going to attract people that do not uh, that do not accept what you don't accept about yourself. All right, and this will all eventually erupt. But when you fully love yourself, you're only bound to attract someone that is going to love you the same way or even more than you love yourself. How crazy is that? Anyways. The law of attraction, ladies and gentlemen, it's quite simple to understand. You must become what you want, all right? Embody it, and you will manifest it. Now, Libra, in regards to cleaning this, you know, muck, this inner balance, these self-imposed limitations, it seems that that is what your journey is, is about currently, all right? Finding that balance, putting forth the, re the required effort to do so, and whomever it is that you're involved with seems to be on the move, ladies and gentlemen. This individual could be at a distance, okay? They could be at a distance. However, I'm kind of getting the indication that they are coming towards you guys. All right? They're coming towards you. Tell me about this individual here. There's appearing as... You see, this individual is also experiencing some sort of emotional turbulence when it comes to you. And this could be the reason for their detachment or distance, rather. All right, tell me more about this. <clears throat> tell me more. 
Yeah, this individual here is doing work. A lot of work that entails self-transformation. All right? <clears throat> With that death energy here. You know what? In all, in all clarity, what I'm getting here is that this individual is preparing themselves to come forward, Libra, and basically express themselves. All right? They're going to express themselves. So you got a Knight of Cups coming your way here. This is an individual that is taking action upon expressing what feelings they have for you, what inter what romantic feelings they have for you. All right. Why is the Knight of Wands here in the outcome? See, this is interesting, Libra. <clears throat> yeah, because you got someone that's coming towards you. So, Libra, at the end of the month, at the end of the month for March, truly, what I'm seeing here is that you got someone that is making a move on you. They're making a move on you. You're going to have the opportunity to cultivate something. All right. The magician here in the future, you see, the magician is all about cultivating what it is that you want. Interestingly, the magician is the young version of the emperor, right? The emperor is the magician already established, already, uh, you know, created his kingdom. So what I'm getting at with this, with this energy is essentially is that you're going to have the opportunity to cultivate something, all right? And the maturity that comes from what you are forming, the project, the, the uh, enterprise, the endeavor, the relationship is upon your own volition. You know, you, you're the one that is forming this, you and your mate. Nevertheless, the opportunity is going to be there, ladies and gentlemen. All right, don't forget, you are the creator of your reality. This is not destiny. This is Destiny has, has a, 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 its role to play in your life. But you are the creator, ladies and gentlemen. All right? So it's not about who's destined for me and how will it be. Scratch all that shit. Focus on yourself. Focus on becoming the best version of yourself. All right? So that you can attract the best possible mate and call it a day. You know what I mean? Too many people are, sw too many people are sitting around, you know, waiting for destiny to come knocking on their door. Get that out of your mind, ladies and gentlemen. You are the creator. Okay? And it seems as if you're going to have the opportunity to create something, all right, that you're going to see this week. Well, however immature this connection is in regards to its development, or however mature it is, it doesn't fucking matter. What I'm seeing here is that you're getting your wish desired, and, you, and this wish is a potential for something, all right? So you're getting that potential. Maybe you don't know what that something is yet. Maybe you don't know what this relation, what you want from this relationship, or what you want to form this relationship to be. Some of you do, maybe. However, the potential to make whatever you want from it is coming at the end of month, or at the end of the month. All right. Now, Libra, I'm going to take this to the extended and I'm going to look deeper into this individual here that's coming towards you. All right. What are their true desires towards you? What are their current feelings, their thoughts? All right. If this was your reading, I'll see you in the extended, ladies and gentlemen. Otherwise... It looks like you're going to have an eventful, you know, an eventful end of the month. I'll see you in the extended. The link will be in the description. Otherwise, I'll see you around.